Hi there, this is Brute once again. Um, just a quick video on, well, why we chose actually this particular van, Town & Country, over other vans that are out in the market um, that you know may offer a more involving driving experience, maybe a, bit, a little better road hauling, maybe a little better fuel economy, although it's a van, so that means it's built like a brick and it moves through the air like a brick uh, so that means it sucks fuel like a brick so you know that is a fact uh reason why we bought this one well um we bought it used uh it was before all things been bonkers with used cars in california um but you know what really helped us with making the decision is you know the fact that you can get rid of all these seats here so you know right now it's a seven seater uh, so two in the front, two in the middle, and three in the back. Um, as many of us, and probably all of us watching this video know, is that this uh, stow and go, uh, go stuff, and I was thinking that I could see far enough, but this stow and go system is something that, well, deserves gold medal because you know in just 10 seconds this seat is gone and the same for that one and then in the back well uh, yeah you can fold it flat but then you have no uh, trunk space whatsoever well you do but then this cavernous space here down here is pretty much useless because it's filled up by the seats so um, of course you can fold them flat I choose to take them out um, I'll give a link to another video that would actually be better than mine and um you know fellow well van owner uh, actually he has a much older one but you know with the correct maintenance these things last forever uh things to look at for you know town and country or mopar chrysler dodge in general uh, gearbox yes we had the one that is in this van already fixed uh, it forgot one of the gears, uh, so it just didn't want to shift up from second and up. Um, I know there's a way to bypass this. You know, you can just shift manually, but you know, you don't want to do that as a hobby. And definitely, it's not uh, recommended. You know, to keep this uh, this this vehicle in good shape. So um, that's why. Uh, so the seats and the fact, well, it's just a cavernous space. It is about seven feet deep or perhaps a little more, yeah, probably more, and then the width is about five and a half, five and a half feet. So that means, you know, short people can, you know, lay down side to side, a um, little less short people, uh, well, they'll go this to there. Um, but, you know, a seven foot bed is not a bad idea. So that's pretty much why we chose this vehicle. And, you know, like we got this little rig, in 2020 2021 sorry uh for a little less than thirteen thousand dollars well uh yeah forget that now because i think these 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 beasties go for well uh, probably like half more than that so probably around like 18 19 or 20. so uh just to let you know uh talk to you soon in the next video